Hey everybody. Hi. Good morning. Or afternoon, whatever. I've got something really interesting to show you. This is something that came into my possession uh, many years ago, at least five to eight years ago. Um, you know, I'll just kind of give you some ideas. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Maybe the most, not the most reverent thing you can do. Let me lower the camera just a little bit so you can see. Okay, this is the first part here. And I'm going to put it in. Put on something like this. It's already hot as heck. It's summer. Ooh, goodness. I think I just ripped it. See, I told you I'm just, I shouldn't be doing this, but I want to show it to you guys. But, uh, okay, now the way it goes is, it goes up like this. And that, oh, good job. Somehow it ties on. I had, I wore this once before properly, and someone helped me. Oh, you know what it is? It's like this. this that's right. It goes like this. It goes here like this. Can you see? It goes like this, and then kind of ties on, I'm probably not doing it just right, goes around, kind of like that, and then it's got more straps in the back, see, yeah, something like that, probably ties in the, f in the back, doing a terrible job, but you get the idea, kind of a, well, clearly you can tell that this is a, an outfit of some sort, but well, the question is what kind of outfit? I'll, I'll let it go. Well, the title probably gives it away. <laughs> well, the video, but here we go. Now this part right here, this is a little more complicated. This part here fits through the arms like this. I think, hold on, hold on. Aha, like this. This is it. This goes like, like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get it, I'll get it. You think I would have figured this out beforehand? There we go, there we go. Goes like that. And then this hangs down. And I think it, it kind of, it, you know what? This goes on first. Actually, this goes on first and then the bottom part. And so this then goes to the side. Like this. That's right, that's better, that's better. I'm really jerry-rigging it right here. And then this part back here has like a little a collar and it kind of hooks on or ties on. Oh, it's got a little strap thing there. Here we go. It's got a little hole. There we go. See how that goes through the whole thing? There. Okay, now it's starting to look like a terrible job. But at least you're getting the idea. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, now the next part is there's an OB, an OB sash. It goes around somehow, but I don't know how that works, so I'll leave that off. The next part is this part right here. Okay, there's a secret in here. I'll tell you, show you what that secret is in just a second. And then the last part, right here. Okay, and this goes on thus. Now, this is very irreverent of me to be wearing this, but can you figure out what it is? Well, you, clearly, if you read the video title, this is a Shinto priest's outfit. Poorly worn by me. Um, I got this at an auction, like I said, years ago. I was there, and it was up for auction, and absolutely nobody wanted it. It was like, it was like coming down from like, started off like a sen yen, you know, 10 bucks, got down to like 5 bucks, you know, 500 yen, and then 300 yen, it was down to hyaku yen. <laughs> And at the, that auction, the, the guy that ran the auction, he knew me. I was the guy of last resort. If nobody else would take it, you know, ask Kurt to take it. And Kato is what they called me. He looked at me and I said, hi, hi. So for 100, for 100 yen, less than the price of a, of a soda, I bought this. He had 100, about a dollar. I bought this for a dollar. And it was an authentic Shinto priest's outfit. And this right here is a special item. Look at that. Isn't that great? But there's a secret inside. Here it is. Na, 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 na. Yes. This is for that. Isn't that cool? Sorry, I'm so sweaty and so poorly worn. I mean, uh, I wore this. This is going to sound bad, but um, I wore this. We used to have Halloween parties uh, at our house. Our neighbor, for our neighborhood, my wife and I would host Halloween parties every year. We got a big event. We get like, like over a hundred people would come and we have a big block party. We'd organize with the neighbors to give. We did this in order to give our daughter a chance to experience Halloween and also the neighborhood kids. Um, 
and I used to dress up as all kinds of stuff. And then the year I got this, I thought, hey, you know, what the heck? So I tried it. And I was kind of curious to see what people's reactions would be. You know, would it be weird to see like a foreigner dressed as a Shinto priest? Everybody, at least they said, they, they thought it was the coolest thing. I was walking around all the neighborhood like this. I guess it's no different than like a uh, someone donning a, uh, you know, a Catholic priest's outfit, you know, in, in joke, in jokingly. I, I guess I probably wouldn't do it now. I, it seems kind of irreverent. But so there you go. This is an authentic Shinto priest. This is a, a sh um, Hinoki, a beautiful, uh, pure Japanese. Well, pure in terms of the purity, the whiteness, the clear grain, everything it was pure white when it was new. It's, it's lost some of its color and it has a few dents. But uh, I've only had like three of these in my possession uh, in the past, and uh, this is the only last one I have in terms of these, uh, these batons. Um, Shinto, of course, is the native religion of Japan, an animist religion. Uh, millions and millions of deities for everything. And it's still an active religion, one of two main religions in Japan, the other is Buddhism. And uh, Shinto, as they say in Japan, typically you are married by a Shinto priest and buried by a Buddhist priest. So Shinto is, uh, plays an important part in Japanese life. So this goes back inside. Kind of like putting a katana away. And there we go. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by to have a look. See y'all later. Let's get a photo. Okay, let's do it like this. Gotta take a photo. There you go. Bye.